translation. Let us discuss the following question. The question says the resultant of two forces P and Q acting at a point is at right angles to force P. While the resultant of forces P and S acting at the same angle is at right angles to force S. Prove that P is equal to square root of S Q. Now this is the force P and Q and the resultant of these two forces that is R1 is at right angle to force P and the resultant of force P and S is at right angle to the force S. We have to prove that P is equal to square root of S into Q. Now begin with the solution. Let the angle between Force P and Q B theta. That is, this angle is equal to theta. Now, angle alpha, which is between P and resultant of P and Q, that is this. Will be given by tan alpha equals to q sin theta by p plus q cos theta. So this is the angle between p and resultant of p and q. Now we are given that alpha is equal to pi by 2 since resultant is at right angle to force P. So we have tan pi by 2 equals to Q sin theta by P plus Q cos theta. Now this implies P plus Q cos theta is equal to 0 and this implies cos theta is equal to minus P by Q. Let's name this as equation 1. Angle alpha 1, that is this angle, is between force S and resultant of S and P. Will be given by tan alpha 1 equals to P sin theta by S plus P cos theta. Now this alpha 1 is also equal to pi by 2. Now tan pi by 2 equals to P sin theta by S plus P cos theta. Now this implies S plus P cos theta is equal to 0 and this implies cos theta is equal to minus S by P. Let's name this as equation 2. Now from 1 and 2 we have minus P by Q equals to minus S by P now this implies P square is equal to S Q and this implies P is equal to square root of S Q. Hence we have proved that P is equal to square root of S Q. So this completes the session. Bye and take care.